Hello, my name is Al Ackerman and welcome to the channel. Hey, if you like card magic, you've come to the right place. If you love sleight of hand, make sure you click on subscribe. Now today I'm going to be doing an assembly. This assembly is from my book, uh, Las Vegas Cardman. I had two versions of this assembly in that book. Um, assemblies are not uh, beginning pieces. They're not typically ending pieces. They should be done in the middle of the routine when everybody's watching closely and you have everybody's attention. So let's take a look. Now let's assume I have a spectator on my right here who can... Uh, cut and shuffle up these cards as much as they want. So this can be a borrowed shuffle deck. And the spectator can mix up the cards till he is absolutely convinced they are in a random state. Now I'm gonna do something with four, four of a kind. And the cards I'm gonna use are going to be the uh, four eights of the deck. So there is the eight of clubs. And I got an eight of diamonds here. And there's my eight of spades. I've got one more eight in here. And there is the uh, eight, eight of hearts. All right, that's all we've got. Now, these guys are in clubs, diamonds, spades, hearts order. Now, at this point, I would ask the spectator to cut off uh, four packets about that size. So let me show you what I have here. I have our four, four eights there, along with about 10 or 12 extra cards. So you ask the spectator to cut off three more packets about that size. So this would be the spectator cutting the cards right here into uh, three small packets. Now let's kind of go over what I have over here. I happen to have about a dozen cards along with my four eights. Okay. So there's my heart, my spade, my diamond, and my club. We have four packets of cards, and I'm going to go ahead and place one eight on each one of those four packets. Your job is to watch the eights. Just a snap of the fingers, gone, 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 and gone. Now when a magician makes something disappear, right, he's got to make them reappear someplace else, right? So check this out, hand is empty right here in my pants pocket. You've got an eight of spades in the other pocket. I have the eight of clubs, hand is empty. In my front shirt pocket, I've got the eight of diamonds. And right here in my rear pants pocket, our fourth eight. Hey, we've got the eight of hearts. Now I tell you what, I'm gonna show you how a card sheet can work a card game by manipulating these four kings here in just a moment. We're going to play a game called Guts Poker. And Guts Poker comes in a couple of varieties. There is what's called a three-card gut version, and then there's also a four-card guts version. Uh, we're going to play four-card guts. We're going to have four players, four hands of four cards. That's 16 cards in all are going to be used. So, let me go ahead and get out uh, 12 low value, low value cards and uh, I'm just going to keep them all a little bit different here. Okay, not even have one card being uh, a pair in the, each of these. And then what we'll do is we'll add um, a king to each one of these four hands. So that's what we've got. The rest of the deck I don't even need. So there's three, six, nine, Here's 12, 12 cards total, all low valued number cards. The great poker hand is this one right here on the table, consisting of four of a kind, the four kings. Now in guts poker, straights and flushes have no value whatsoever. So the very best hand you can get is this one right here, four of a kind. And right, four kings, one awesome poker hand. I'm gonna destroy this beautiful hand by dealing out a diamond, a spade, a heart, and a club in that order, all right? One king to each of our four players, diamond, spade, heart, and club, all right. Then I'm going to add exactly three cards to complete each of these hands. So my first 
and is going to consist of these three number cards along with the king. And this is going to repeat on that king of spades there. We're going to add these three cards. And on the king of hearts over here, we're going to add these three. And over here in my king of clubs, we're going to add these. One, two, three cards right here. So right now, each of our hands are exactly the same hand. King high with a collection of three low-value number cards. I want to get the winning poker hand. So what I need to do is steal each one of those kings and somehow sneak them into my hand. Now to do so, I'm going to use an old tool from the magician's toolbox. Watch, we're going to make cards disappear. That fast, that's not a king. That's one. That's not a king. That's two. That's not the king of diamonds. That's three. And number four, that king is gone. Left the group. Now you're going to watch that king of spades. We're going to do this again. Nothing up the sleeve or anything like that. Don't take your eye off of that bottom card. Matter of fact, I'm just going to outjog that king of spades so he will not leave your view. This leaves me with this collection of these three, three low-valued number cards right here. But just a little flick, that's now a number card too. King of spades is gone. Now we got to deal with that king of hearts. And you can see this guy right there. I'm going to sandwich that king of hearts in between the others right there. And if you watch close, you'll see him disappear. Just a tap and a snap. And that king of hearts is gone. That's not the king. That's not the king. Not a king and not the king of hearts. Vanished. And over here, amazing. We have a king of hearts. We've got the king of spades. I've got the king of clubs. And I've got the king of diamonds. Now, let's kind of go over what's happened so far. I lifted away the king of diamonds from this hand, right? I pirated the king of uh, spades from this hand. I pilfered away the king of hearts from hand number three. But this card right here, that king of clubs, he has just sat here sat on the face of this uh, packet the whole time. He has yet to move. So we're going to give the king of clubs a chance to make the leap. We're going to bring him up to the top. Do not take your eye off of that king of clubs. We're going to place him over here. Now here's the hard part. I'm going to invisibly take that king of clubs and drop him right back home. Now if I really did that, that's not the king of clubs. That's not the king. Not the king, not the king of clubs. And amazingly, over here now, there's our king of clubs joining his brothers right over here. Now, I want you to watch these four kings one last time because they're going to do a quick encore performance. Watch our kings. I'm just going to give them one little stroke right here. And that fast, all four kings now literally jump right back home. Now I'm going to give you one more chance to see what a fantastic group of acrobats these four kings are. And I'm going to leave them sitting there in full view the whole time so you can see them quite plainly. They will not go out of sight. There they are. Matter of fact, I'm just going to turn the whole packet over, bringing them up to the top. We've got our diamonds, our spade, our heart, and our club. This group, I'm just going to shuffle up, mix them all up. Matter of fact, let's shuffle up our whole deck here. And I'm going to need two cards named for wild cards. So have a Spectator 1 name a card. Let's say they name that two of clubs. That's a great wild card. Deuces are wild. Two of clubs and ask them to name another card. Let's say they, uh, uh, they named the ace of clubs. Ace of clubs right there. All right, so wild card number two. Two wild cards on the table. That's what we've got. Now your job is to watch over these four suits here. The diamond, the spade, the heart, and the club. You can see them all right here. And I'm going to cut these four kings down into the depths of this deck. Are you ready? It's going to happen. Just a snap. That wild
wild card is now a king over here in my pocket right here. There's the king of diamonds. On the table, got the king of hearts, hands empty. And in my front shirt pocket, there's the king of clubs. Now, if this was a borrowed shuffle deck from your host, you can give the deck right back to your hostess. And you can continue on, do your favorite coin trick. Hey, if you like the effect, give it a thumbs up. If you enjoy card magic, make sure you click on subscribe. Now, like I mentioned, this was originally published in 1993 in my book, Las Vegas Cardma. I had two versions of this assembly in that book. Uh, one of them, uh, originally this version, was not an impromptu routine. In 2004, I published a set of lecture notes under the same name. 2004 lecture notes, and uh, I had some very interesting technology that could be applied to dozens and dozens of tricks that typically had a setup and you no longer needed a setup. So this effect now is essentially an impromptu routine. You can visit somebody's house, they can ask you to do a, some card magic, they know you're a magician, you say, can I borrow your deck of cards, and you are ready to go. I hope you enjoyed the handle. My name's Al Ackerman, and I'll catch you next time.